If there's anything in life that you don't currently have right now, it's because of who you are and how you think. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through if they decide to push through it. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's gonna take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain. Y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. All right guys, welcome to my six weeks out road to my second show. I'm treating it as my first, but uh, honestly, I was contemplating on shooting this. Uh, I was thinking about maybe shooting it for next season, like off season, going into like, you know, my prep for next year. But um, I kind of wanted to show everybody kind of like my transitioning, that I, how I've been like going about, what I've been doing for my workouts, the eating habits. You might see a little bit of eating, uh, eating days. You might see training days. Uh, definitely training days, but uh, besides that, I mean, we're gonna, today we're doing back. So I'm gonna show you what I kind of like do for rep range, warm ups and uh, how I ended up honestly turning my whole body around. So for people that do know me, uh, I was lost a year and a half, uh, got super fat, and uh, I just, I don't know who I was anymore. So I ended up really getting out of that comfort zone and finding a new person in myself, and here we are, everything's changed. I'm not gonna be showing the physique of how I actually look right now, uh, maybe closer, but right now, we're gonna get into the workout, so what? One more warm up, about five reps. Next one will be the actual, actual first one. Shout out to my boy Patrick, uh, owner of Aries Nutrition. Just picked this up today and a couple other things. As always, I'm spending about fucking two, three hundred dollars over there, but uh, well worth it. You know, the guy loves. Uh, he has a passion for the fitness industry, passion to help others. So definitely check it out. You're probably gonna end up seeing it around here on the screen. But uh, yeah, I'll check it. Out. So we're hitting anything between 10 to 15. I usually like sticking around 12. Uh, this kind of gives me enough energy for the next couple sets. Um, I like a lot of people, you know, I mean, I, this is the, the way I used to train it. Like years ago was, like let's say for example back, I would kill my shit to a point, like I'll do fucking seven different workouts. Some people will look at me here and be like, yo Dave, you just came in and I'm leaving now, you know. All you need to be in the gym for is like 45 minutes to an hour. I do four workouts. That's what my coach has me doing. At most, maybe five. But I do that type of stuff because it's what my body responds to compared to how I used to train before. Plus the nutrition that I have now, it's everything's a perfect combination. So you'll see as we go on. We're about to get into these. Um, we're gonna start out with one warm up set. And then from there, we'll go into like actual working sets. We'll do three working sets.
25 to 6. Again, I'm still doing the same routine that I've been doing well, right before my prep, sorry, which is back in June. And honestly, it's been working. Um, my coach is happy with everything he sees. Everything's working fine, smooth with the food, training. Um, and here and now, just, just keep on grinding. Don't give in to anything. Uh, this is probably the best that I've ever felt. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all whatever. Um, literally, I, I've never, I've never been this this type of way with myself. So I'm very happy that I've actually carried myself to a positive uh, way that, that I'm doing now uh, versus how my past was. So let's get into it. Set. So as you see, I like doing a lot of negatives. I see a lot of people just fucking going for the whole movement, just to fucking get it out of the way. I want to feel everything. And I mean, there's people that will fucking go rep out fucking 200 pounds, but then tell them to rep out the same way with negatives, they can't do shit. Uh, again, it's just the way, again, I've been used to a lot of, uh, I've been used to a lot of uh, different type of, uh, of movements that I kind of like, practice my whole time but uh everything's working man so let's see what happens where are my straps where are my straps fuck are my straps you need this for heavy weight I got like little I got like little man hands a little fucking I feel like they don't belong to me. But these are great for oh shit, pulling heavy weight and you don't have to worry about you losing grip. So for anybody that was curious, I competed back in 2014. That was my first show. I did horrible. Last place. Only three people in my class. But I mean I blame myself for not listening. I was a lot younger. I was what like seven years ago? Um I had I had the mentality of if I sneak in the pantry at nighttime, I could just burn it off. The next day, they didn't work that way. Um, fast forward, 
I'm finally competing again after being off for so long and I kind of like lost myself really bad last year but I'm back better than ever. weeks. Time to chisel. You done? No, I'm sorry. sure if I want to be on the actual machine the plate loader one or bent over for dumbbells um, either way we're gonna finish out with that and then uh, pull up on the assistant machine and then we should be good for that I'm a fucking short ass motherfucker.
Drop set. That's one. I don't gotta go crazy. Respond to the wife. If I don't respond to her, then it's a problem. All right, come on. All right. So we found the bench. We're gonna pretty much put our head on there. Uh, in a row. I don't, we don't normally do these, but I want to incorporate it for today. dirty right now but because I had a uh, BCA spill over it but Cardillo thank you for this thank you for creating something that we made and you made it come to life best spell in the fucking industry right now I fucking love you guys I'm actually gonna order a new one after my show next level visionary across the whole belt Hear something crazy? When I first got this belt in February. It was right here. That's the tightest. That's the tightest that it was. Now I can actually move two more if I wanted to. Right now it's kind of like loose. Crazy. Also show you, you could definitely do whatever you want to do as long as you're strict. Get it done. Don't go back. All right, we're just gonna finish up with some actual pull downs. Um, not too crazy weight. You kind of feel them for the end of the workout, and that's pretty much it. Um, after that, I'm going into posing rounds, which you won't see on video in a few weeks. Maybe release some pictures. I don't know, but that's pretty much it. Here we go.
notice my grip is pretty much off my fingers. The reason for that is because I want I want to drive it down with my elbows. So I feel a lot more traction on the actual back. Instead of me actually moving my, my forearms actually moving. Thank you for tuning in our first episode. We'll probably see another one this week. I'm not really sure yet. But from the top of my head, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about actually releasing six episodes in total because it's six weeks out. Uh, maybe one back, one of arms, one leg, one shoulders, whatever it is. Maybe one eating eating day, I'm not really sure yet. Um, or just have a lot more. So at the time, I don't know. Um, I'll be posting on my story on what you guys kind of like want to see. For anybody that does check it out, I really appreciate you taking the time to even considering subscribing to my channel or just checking out my content in general. Uh, thanks so much to everybody that supported me thus far from my business, Next Level Visionary Photography or Videography, um, and for trusting me with your work at the end of the day. Now's the time that I'm kind of stepping more into my brand, left my job, and really focusing on myself. Um, the person that that, that really wants to explore a lot more into this journey um, and tie it in with my actual business. So thank you again. See you on episode two.